Hey guys, Nancy Grace is involved in the investigation, looking from the outside in, of course. But she's involved in reporting the Shanquilla uh, murder. And she was talking to Shanquilla's mother, uh, doing an interview via phone. And this is what uh, the conversation went like. Let's take a listen. You get a call, your baby is dead. Because that is what happened to Miss Robinson, Miss Alondra Robinson. Her beautiful girl, the world in front of her, on the verge of graduating Winston-Salem State in business, goes away for a girl's getaway. And now she's dead. Not at the hands of some masked intruder, not a drive-by shooting, on a girl's getaway with her friends. How can she be dead in the hotel room? So this is the CBS interview of Salamandre, Shanquilla's mother. This is the, um, the audio part of it. So let's take a listen. I received a call on Saturday saying that my daughter was sick and that she had alcohol poison. But her doctor had never arrived, so I don't know where they got the alcohol poison from. So at that time, um, they said the doctor was on the way to uh, examine her. And um, she wasn't responding, as they told me. said she was resting a little bit, but she wasn't was not all the way responding as normal. I told him to keep me in form and I wanted to know why they couldn't take it to the emergency room. They said because they needed $5,000 cash to be seen in the emergency room. So this is where this $5,000 came in. The friends wanted $5,000 to take her to the emergency room and this is why they insisted that she stayed because they didn't have it. Remember, there was money missing from her account, allegedly. And I said, well, she has insurance. And uh, they said they didn't take insurance by being, being um, out the country. So the friends claim that the hospital wanted $5,000 cash. They would not take the insurance because she was a foreigner. But how would they know when they did not even call the hospital to get help for Shanquilla? The question is, did they really want the $5,000 to pay the hospital or the $5,000 to pay the doctor and these two officers? So let's continue to listen to what Nancy Grace had to say. How in the H-E-L-L is this girl resting as opposed to being taken down to the emergency room? To H-E-L-L with the price. She is dead. She is dead and was never taken to the ER. And I don't buy for one minute that this girl, this beautiful, young, 25-year-old girl, was resting. Okay, so in, you're, you were, uh, what, in North Carolina? Yeah. So North Carolina time, it was what, 7 o'clock at night? It would have been about, yeah, about 6 or 7. Okay, so she is in San Jose del Cabo, Mexico, so that, I think, would have been three hours behind. Like They're on California time, correct? Yes. Yeah. So 4 p.m. their time, 7 p.m. is your time. You get a call. And who called you? The little cook. Who's that? That's what been her best friend. Did you say Salaya Cook? No, Kalia Cook. Oh, the, the man. Yes. And he was a friend of hers. He had gone on family vacations. You knew him, right? Yes. Okay, were they romantically involved? No. Okay, just a friend. Look, it happens. A lot of people can't believe that happened. Can happen. I've had a best friend since law school. A best friend, man. Study partners the whole way through. So it does happen. So, so Nancy Grace had to really clear that part up. This male best friend and her did not have a relationship going on because that was speculation also. A lot of people were speculating that maybe Kalia Cook and Shan Quella had a relationship and the mother shot it down. She said no, they did not have a relationship. They were just best friends. And Nancy Grace second emotion on that because she said even when she was in college, she had a best friend. They studied all the way through college and they never had a romantic relationship. 
So it does happen where male and females can become best friends and not have a relationship. But let's continue to listen. Kalia Cook is her friend, and he calls you, correct? Yes. And he says what to you? That Shanquilla wasn't feeling good. He thinks she had drunk too much. She had alcohol poison. And I say, what is alcohol poison? Because I, I didn't even know what alcohol poison was. Okay, with me, uh, someone that can answer that question very well, Dr. Kendall Crowns, Chief Medical Examiner, Fort Worth, lecturer at University of Texas and Texas A&M, faculty, University of Texas Medical Branch, Dr. Crowns, what is alcohol poisoning? So Nancy Grace brought in the experts to break it down to us. She has access to all the experts. So it is good for the public to understand what is what because the FBI is tight-lipped. They're not saying anything. So we have to get the information from all other sources. So it's, this is what a doctor had to say. Alcohol poisoning is when you get so much alcohol in your system that it actually is uh, fatal to your body. Uh, alcohol can be toxic to your heart and also your liver. So when you have a really, really high level of alcohol, it can cause basically poisoning of these organ systems. So it's usually seen in someone who has been binge drinking and, you know, the standard alcohol level is, uh, legal limit is about 0.08 in most jurisdictions. And once you get into a 0 0.3, 0 0.4 area, most people will be have so much alcohol on board that it'll, it will kill them. And that is a lot of alcohol. Okay, so, uh, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to reconcile what you're saying with what Miss Robinson was told. Take a listen to our friend Victor. So now Nancy Grace is tapping into another source of information to prove her point that the reason why she was not taken to the hospital why the friends did not want her to go it is for this reason well take a listen to our friend victor canada on october 29th one of the guests staying at the resort called for help around 2 p.m upon arriving medical professionals were informed that robinson had drunk a lot of alcohol a doctor reportedly said she was stable but dehydrated suggesting she may be treated at a hospital the guests insisting she remain at the villa a police report stating Robinson went into cardiac arrest and was declared deceased around 6 p.m. There you go. That's why she didn't go to the hospital. Did you hear that? The guests, her girlfriends, insisted she stay there at the hotel. That's why she wasn't taken to the hospital. Now, wait a minute. She went into cardiac arrest, according to what we just heard. But, uh-uh. None of this is fitting together. Take a listen to our friends at ABC. So now Nancy Grace is bringing in ABC for us to get a little footage of what they had to report. So she's getting her information like we are getting our information in bits and pieces. Now let, let's listen to what ABC have to say. But those reports differing from an autopsy obtained by ABC News stating that medical professionals arrived at the villa around 3 p.m. and declared her dead within 15 minutes, citing that Robinson died from a severe spinal cord injury and a dislocated neck. So now here's Aquila's mother, Miss Salamandra, talking about, you know, this has all been a nightmare and she cannot sleep and it's just so unbelievable that her baby is gone let's take a listen this happened to her it's just just terrible you know i just couldn't believe it it's like i'm still asleep like a nightmare did you hear that uh to you mrs robinson according to the documents from the emts she was declared dead 15 minutes after they got there they did not get there and work on her for three hours, like you were told. Yes. She was declared dead within 15 minutes of the EMTs getting there, and the friends did not want her removed to the hospital. Do you understand that to be true now? I understand that, um, you know, what was being said. You know, I don't know which way to believe. You know, I, I believe the autopsy, but the so-called friends um, 
I just don't know what to say about them. I just think it was just terrible the way they got her, you know. All of this from alcohol poisoning, but yet the autopsy does not say anything about alcohol poisoning leading to her death. So now this part of Nancy Grace reporting, um, she called in a doctor to explain to the public what an atlas luxation is, the spinal cord injury that killed Chanquilla, and here's what he had to say. And his name is Dr. Kendall Krause. Says Dr. Kendall Krause, she died of a spinal cord injury. What's that? Spinal cord injury is uh, basically your cervical spine is you, you get injuries to your cervical spine from severe rotation or a blunt trauma that results in your head being moved suddenly to one side or another and that causes fracturing of the cervical uh, bones that then result in damage to the spinal cord that ultimately results in your death or potentially quadriplegia, meaning you can't move anything below the neck down. Doctor, I was having a hard time taking in what you were saying. I got it because I'm seeing out of the corner of my eye a video that has emerged. And it is a video of this beautiful young girl, Shaquilla Robinson, she's 25. She's naked. She's by her bed. It looks like she's just gotten up out of bed. And a woman is beating her dead. I'm looking at it right now. Now, I don't know all the circumstances, but I know another person, and I just saw a female hand come up in front of the video cam. There's somebody recording this brutal attack, and her, they beat her until she's down, and she's just sitting there like completely out of it from the beating like a rag doll and then once she sits down this attacker then beats her in the head and her head is just catapulted over to one side could that be what happened to Shinquella Dr. Crown so now Nancy Grace is uh trying to explain to us the public the nature of Shanquilla's injuries caused the death the atlas luxation the broken neck how that can cause the death because we all know if a person's neck is broken they can't breathe and if you can't breathe that's your death so here is the doctor further explaining the nature of Shanquilla's injuries uh, yes so in the video you can see there the initial where the one female is hitting Shanquilla uh, multiple times in her head but at some point she grabs her with her arm and then twists her head and body in a, in a kind of a rotational motion and then Shanquilla is dropped to the ground and she continues to hit her in the head and neck area but if you look at the video you notice that Shinquilla is fighting back initially until I disagree completely. She's shielding herself. We're gonna hear where the doctor had to retract his statement quickly because we all saw the video and we saw Shanquilla not fighting back. She was shielding herself from the blows. I disagree completely. She's shielding herself. She is not landing punches at all. I'm looking right at it. She's she not. Also said no. Yes, you're right. Correct. She, she never. She never even had a chance to fight back. Misstatement there. She is not fighting back. She is defending herself from the beating. Like trying to hold her attacker back. She never gets a chance to defend herself. Uh, Mrs. Robinson. Does she sleep without her clothes on? Yes, she do. So she was woken up out of her bed with one woman standing there videoing and the other woman hitting her like she's Muhammad Ali. And then the attacker, after she has beaten her, this defenseless naked girl who has just been woken up to a beating, she stands back, she steps back and bows back like she's about to put her hands over her head like she's a champion and who in the hay is videoing her 
her. Miss Miss Robinson, do you know these women? Who are they? I I don't know the ones that's beating you and her. I just know the one that was standing there beside Khalil Cook. And the other one, I didn't know him, the one that's saying fight back. I didn't know him. Okay, hold on. Who is the person hitting her? That's the DH girl. And I didn't know her. I, I just know they went to college together. I've got Dejani Jackson. How are you saying it? Um, I think it's, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I've got Dejani. That could be, it's a, a, a crazy spelling. I, can't, I don't know what it is. It looks like Dejani or Dej. Dejeuner. Her name is Dejeuner. Yeah, That's Dejeuner. it. It's Dejeuner because it's got A-E on the end. You're right. Dejeuner Jackson. Then you've got Winter Donovan. And it's spelled W-E-N-T-E-R. Is that another female? Yeah. Then you've got Kalia Cook, the friend boy, the man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's those three and your daughter, Quella, correct? Yeah. Now we know that she was dead 15 minutes after injuring her neck and spinal cord. Why? Why are you dead 15 minutes after the injury? So usually with these type of spinal cord injuries, uh, what, what she has is an atlas luxation, which means a dislocation of the first cervical vertebrae. Do you mind saying that one more time, an atlas what? It's an atlas luxation is what the cause of death uh, is listed as. And what that is is cervical vertebrae number one, the one right underneath your skull is the atlas and it slid out of place and then pushed on her spinal cord and then usually what happens is it bruises the spinal cord but the spinal cord bruises take a little time to set in before they will kill you so that's why you can see a survival time period of about 15 minutes but in the video after she is uh, whipped about her head and dropped to the ground to me, it doesn't look like she has any more purposeful movement, even though the other individual continues to pound on her. It's that movement there is what killed her. I, I need you to speak so we can all understand you, Dr. Kendall Crowns. Not in your elocution, but describing this. So you're saying atlas luxation is the cause of death, but you're referring to one particular spot just under the head when that particular spot is dislocated or taken kicked out of the line of the spine are you i'm extrapolating are you saying the head is then no longer attached the brain is no longer attached to for instance the heart and the other parts of your body that keep you alive right that's the the area of the brain stem is where the cervical vertebrae number one or the atlas is sitting and that is causing damage to the brain stem which controls your heart rate your respiratory rate all the functions of your body so it isn't necessarily completely separated but it's bruised and damaged to the point that uh it the individual dies and that's why she has a survival time period because it's damaged not completely torn so we the public know that Shankwella did not die of alcohol poisoning because the cause of death is listed as severe spinal cord injury this was pre-planned Nancy can I speak to that because I agree I mean the woman is asleep in bed and they come in with a video camera with Muhammad Ali over there in the corner ready to fight. They're, they have this thing planned. They don't have to come over from North Carolina to the San Jose del Cabo. If they planned it in the living room and went in there, this is a premeditated attack. So guys, we heard what uh, Nancy Grace have to say. We heard what Chinquilla's mother have to say. But the fact that they did put it on the internet while the beating was going on they put it on the internet either while it was going on or shortly thereafter it was only meant to further humiliate her because she was naked and there's nothing more humiliating than to show your nakedness for the world to see and there's nothing worse than a mother or father finding out about the death of their child on the internet Nobody called and told them that she was dead or the beating. Um, the friends simply called and told the parents that 
or the mother that she had alcohol poisoning, but nothing about her dying. And the, this video that's circulating, the mom said she saw on the internet for the first time where her child was beaten to death. So as reporters keep reporting that Shanquilla's mother keep insisting that it was no fight, that she was just shielding herself from the blows. And that's what people saw in that video. So let's continue to listen to part of the footage that Nancy Grace put out. You can hear someone in the video ask if Quella could at least fight back. There wasn't no fight. They, they attacked her. It was never a fight. She didn't fight. They attacked her. Now, Salamandra says she has more questions than answers. She wants justice for her daughter. She was a good child and had a great heart. And she did not deserve to be treated like that. Where did you find this video, Ms. Robinson? Online. Someone sent the video to us online. Someone sent it to you? Yes. When the video, when the, the video probably was, I believe the video was out before she and actually had died because um, someone called me and told me before they even arrived back to Charlotte from North Carolina that they was over there fighting her. So I didn't know how true it was. So after she got back, after um, they got back, she and had passed, the video had surfaced on Facebook and someone sent it to, to uh, my family. It started coming out. The video started coming out. So guys, this remains a very heartbreaking story. I can imagine what her parents are going through. This child was her father's only child. Her mother had ch more children, but Shanquella was the only child for the father. And a little sidebar here, guys. Did you notice how much she looked like her father? I mean, my heart is just broken for this family. We send our condolences. YouTubers, I'm over now. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before leaving the page. Thank you. And don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section. I'm over and out. Thanks for watching.